Providence's top brass calling the actions of two police officers during the arrest of three teens appalling. Those officers are now suspended and a criminal investigation has been launched. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now with what the mayor and public safety commissioner are saying about the case. Anita. Shannon, yet another case of action brought against Providence police officers. This inc incident was captured on body cam video, but the police department is refusing to release that footage because of the criminal investigation. I've reviewed the video and uh, it is appalling. It's beyond upsetting. Excessive use of force was used during an arrest of three teens earlier this month, according to the capital city's top brass. Two officers have been suspended with pay as a criminal investigation moves forward with the state police and attorney general. These two officers were taken off the street because of their behavior and what I've seen in the body cam that was appalling. Police say two 15-year-olds and one 16-year-old driver allegedly sped through Providence, pointing BB guns at people, including an officer, and led police on a chase through the city two weeks ago. That car crashed at the end of the chase on Salmon Street. Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Parry says the teens were injured as a result of not only the crash, but some use of force that was used by police officers. Parry wouldn't say what sort of force was used. This comes after several recent investigations into the conduct of Providence police officers. I can say that Sales Street, the Hanley matter, and anything that comes to our attention or we've, we've found that's inappropriate, we're going to take action. Now, the union president that represents the Providence police officers, Michael Iamundi, is criticizing Parry and Alorza for weighing in on the officers' actions. He says they should have waited until the investigation is complete. He said the union is standing by the officers, though he has not yet seen the video. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. At 6, Providence's mayor and public safety commissioner are not holding back in their description of two officers' alleged actions during a recent arrest. The two officers are on suspension and we're told both are now under criminal investigation for what unfolded following this police pursuit on Chalkstone Avenue earlier this month. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now live in studio with what she's learned. Anita. Mike and Shannon, the Providence Police Department is refusing to release that body camera footage because of the ongoing criminal investigation. But the Public Safety Commissioner told reporters today at least one of the teens arrested in that incident was injured as a result of force by police officers. Another case of action brought against Providence police officers stemming from an incident caught on body cam video. I saw excessive use of force uh, in some of the body cams that is both troubling and appalling. Two officers have been suspended with pay after arresting three teens following this chase through the city earlier this month. Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Parry wouldn't say what sort of force was used, but said officers Domingo Diaz and Mitchell Voyer's actions are being investigated under the Attorney General's use of force protocol. The two 15-year-olds and one 16-year-old driver allegedly sped through the city, pointing BB guns at people, including an officer, and led police on a chase through Providence on the night of July 8th into the early morning of the 9th. The chase ended when the driver of the car crashed into a fire hydrant on Salmon Street. And I fully support the suspension of these two officers, taking their guns away, taking them off the streets and holding them accountable. In addition to the criminal investigation by the Attorney General and State Police, an administrative review of policy violations is being conducted. Now, president of the union that represents Providence police officers is criticizing Parry and Alorza for weighing in on the officer's actions. He says they should have waited until the investigation is complete. He said the union is standing by the officers, though he has not yet seen that video. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.